Sensory trans transduction goes really well with cell communication section in AP Biology. So we are going to focus on how a receptor cell going to transform the stimulus and non-electric uh, stimulus into electric uh, stimulus, uh, electric signal. So on the surface of the receptor cell, we have a receptor that we, is spe specific for a certain molecule that acts as a signal. They will bind together and uh, this will be the first step in sensory transduction, the binding when the receptor receives the signal molecule. The binding is called also the sensory reception. And the receptor cell's uh, main function is getting information from outside of the cell around the neighborhood or the environment and generate electric signal. That is really the receptor's uh, main function. From sensory uh, reception, we learned about how the receptor will uh, change its configuration and start uh, to have a cascade uh, signal transduction in the cell. And uh, this will be the signal transduction. Molecules after molecules will get activated until we reach an ion channel. The ion channel is uh, going to be open and after that uh, going to be closed. And the ions from the outside they are going to zoom into the receptor cell. Step three is receptor potential. So the receptor will have a potential that varies in strength depending on how long the ion channel is going to be open, how much ion can get into the receptor cell. So inside of the receptor cell, we have vesicles, and in the vesicles, we have molecules that they can, or they can be called neurotransmitters, molecules that they will uh, go, go through exocytosis, and they dump their molecules into the synaptic cleft here is a dendrite uh, of a neuron that has receptors on its exon, uh, uh, receptors on its dendrites. And these receptors match up with the molecules that they are in the vesicles inside of the receptor cell. So step four will be release of neurotransmitters. This is not always neurotransmitters, or we can call them. It's release of uh, molecules that they will excite the dendrite, the, the neuron. And the inside of the neuron is action potential will get generated. But... It has the same strength all the way. We learned that in the nervous system. So, and after the action potential leads into the central nervous system. This dendrite is not always the dendrite. It can be an exon if we are talking about bipolar neurons. So don't get caught on that. So summarizing, we have the stimulus that is non-electric. It can be light, mechanic, uh, stimulus or chemical stimulus, the receptor cells that they are specific for the stimulus will get the stimulus, will get the signal. And the re uh, 
receptor cell is going to make electric signal out of that non-electric stimulus or non-electric signal. So this arch from stimulus to electric uh, signal is called the sensory transduction. And I hope this really was good.